more snow in the forecast for our high country. Avalanche danger we know is elevated. Just yesterday, a snowmobiler was caught, buried, seriously hurt by an av avalanche near Crested Butte. Crews were able to rescue him and revive him with CPR. So far, two people in Colorado have lost their lives in avalanches this season. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center is noticing a trend this season that is unusual when it comes to the types of avalanches that are starting a slide. Spencer Wilson, your reporter in the mountains, talked to the Avalanche Information Center about what people need to look out for compared to years prior. We've seen the trend time after time. Big dump of fresh snow, avalanche danger goes up. It makes sense on a very basic level. More snow equals more weight and more possibility for that snow to slide off of a weak layer underneath. Those avalanches are continuing to break. But Ethan Green with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center said that situation is not where all of our slides are coming from this year. One of the things we're seeing this year more often than we see in other years is that small changes, small weather events can make the difference between uh, no avalanche and a pretty dangerous avalanche. That's anything from just an inch of snow or two to simple wind drifts, pushing snow over a weak layer and then piling up until it hits its breaking point. A drift that is just a little stiffer across that slope can make all the difference. That gradual loading can also lead to different looking avalanches in different spots than we would normally expect. Means that we're seeing these avalanches break wider um, than we often do. So kind of around terrain features that might contain avalanches in, in, in some years, like uh, sub ridges or rock outcroppings, things like that. But some rules still hold true no matter the season. Things to watch as we head into the weekend with another fresh round of snow forecasted. Uh, none of these are huge storms, but they are, again, bringing these small loading events. And so we will see the avalanche danger uh, increase uh, mostly on Friday and into Saturday. Even when conditions are atypical, you still want to check the Colorado Avalanche Information Center webpage for the latest forecast and bring with you those tools that you always do into the backcountry. That's your probe, your shovel, and your beacon. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. All right, Spencer, thank you. And Spencer is your reporter for the high country. He wants to hear from you about what's happening in your neighborhood. So reach him through cbscolorado.com. You can always call our tip line.